know what happened here. Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. We were camping out down the lake with all the fathers and sons in the church. And overnight, one of the boats just absolutely bit the dust. We did not know why, and we did not know how. We just knew it was at the bottom of the lake. What say we? Are we moving? You're bringing it around. Bring the tree in. I discovered it while we were on our way, heading out to go check our trot lines. It was something that we didn't expect. It just, there it was. Should we pull the truck now a little bit? Yeah, I'll give you this. So we were quick to offer whatever help we could. We decided, hey, we have a ladder we brought along. We have a ratchet strap we brought along. Let's make use of this tree and try to lift the back up. Come on up a little more with it. A few more inches. Now we supplied the ratchet strap and the ladder. My buddy Austin supplied a truck and a rope. And between that and everybody helping, we managed to get it done. Here's how we did it. Okay, hold it right there. How's that look, Jonah? All right. Just hold it right there, Austin. All right, pull. Okay, go, Austin. Little bit by little bit. All right, hold up. Hold, right there. Ratchet strap. Okay, pull forward a few more inches there, Austin. Okay, hold it. Little by little, a, a boat full of water is very difficult to get out of the water. And you got a little more in you? Easy. A little more, Austin. Yeah. All right. Oh. I believe the water's leaving us, ain't it? Oh, yeah. We're coming up. Boys, we're coming up. Oh, we can lift up on it. Oh, yeah. Good point. Okay. There you go. We start bilging the water. Yeah. I don't really know how it happened. It just was that way this morning when we got here. It wasn't like you had a uh, nightmare. You went over there and <laughs> turned it over. I just wanted a in video so bad. <laughs> so it was laying on the side. On the side. It, was, it was, I think, just like it is, except the whole boat was nearly underwater. <laughs> we should get in here, boys. There we go. That makes a little more sense. Are you sure we're not still coming in? Though? We've lost a good bit of water in here. Yeah. Hey, would somebody come up here so that it pulls that corner out? Hey, Joel, come and sit up here with Jesse. Alex, maybe if you'd get out, maybe I'll tell you, both of you guys get out, and I'll take water out from here. That might work. And that's gonna get us enough lift. That might work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you big old heavy set guys, get out of there. <laughs> You're sucking in, ain't you? We got a ratchet strap tied from the tree down to the boat. We got a rope tied from the tree back to another tree right there to keep that tree from going in the water because the root system is a little weak looking. Time to release. Yeah. Corona the virus. So just say Corona. Corona. 
the doctors would say corona. Oh, he was being diet last night. Hey, don't talk about this. I used to eat so last night. Trevor, don't go in the boat. Trevor, don't go in the boat. What a morning! What a morning! What a morning! This is one morning. This is one way to start your morning off. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a floating. <laughs> I tell you what, I did not know it was gonna work out. Praise the Lord, let you and thank you guys for your help. Yes, sir. It's amazing. for the boat trailer. Matt, grab that from Tim. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, it ain't the first time I've been helped either. <laughs> you come and got me off the side of the road. Uh, on 70. Yep. Turnabout's fair play. Yes, sir. All right, we got that boat right there out of here. We was able to get it fixed up, get it pulled out of the water. Took quite a bit of doings because it did not want to come out of that water. But we're going to get on out of here. We'll see you on the next video.